Um, today I'm going to show you how to decoupage, sorry I'm trying to get my camera set up, um, with napkins. And I'm working on these um, drawer fronts. And I already did the one on the right, as you can see. And so I'm going to kind of show you um, how to get this started and how to decoupage with these napkins. Um, so first thing on the right hand side is the completed drawer front, but I kind of want to show you, I use um, one to size, and I have it already in a cup, and I just kind of quickly spread it on my drawer front. This one to size you can find at, um, I got mine off of Amazon, but it's kind of, um, like a glue so it's really thin going on and this is why I like it because it's not so thick and gooey so you quickly just put it on and I have to apologize because I'm not going to be able to see any questions um, since I'm working here so you just quickly put it on and let it set up a minute uh, for five to ten minutes kind of depends on the humidity that you have but I also want to show you um, you know I just napkins bought napkins from Marks. You know, I thought they were fun, thought they were cool. So I bought those. And then what you have to do is open up the napkin. And then you start removing the layers. Now I wanted to show you this particular napkin has like three different layers. So you want to make sure that you're getting down to that base layer. And just pull it apart just like that so and I am frugal so um, and green so I fold this back up and I'll use this as a napkin um, but I'm going to use the the fun parts for our project here so once that's done I went ahead and I cut them in little squares because I want little pieces going on here and um, I'm not you know I kind of crumpled them up I wasn't you know I didn't want them all flat and, and nice and neat I wanted them to have um, some bumps and some texture to them. So um, this is getting tacky, so I'm going to go ahead and start um, doing the decoupage. Um, so basically kind of what I'm going to do is this, the one to seize is already setting up, and I'm just going to place, place the napkin somewhere on the corner edge here, and then just tap it down slightly. I'm not really dragging it, I'm just tapping it down. And then I'm going to take another napkin and just kind of place, place in the corner over here. Same thing, tap it down. And then this final napkin, I'm kind of, you know, trying to make it a little bit about, you know, the same consistency as the other one that I have done. And then I just tap that down in the places. Now I have overlapping on here, as you can see. And so that's not sticking real great, but that's okay. Because once I take my varnish and seal it in place, then everything's gonna seal up fine. And then basically kind of what I do is just take a chip brush and I have um, matte varnish from Maison Blanc and I just fill my chip brush and I just lightly, sorry about the dripping, just lightly push that down and what that does is it starts sealing the napkins together. And then, you, and then you're also kind of seeing that, you know, we've got overlay. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Now, I'll let that dry for a little bit. And if you get spots that, you know, you kind of pulled away, you can either throw another napkin piece on top or you can let it be um, tore up. And then once it dries, I will take my ruler to get a nice crisp edge and then my straight edge and I will lightly cut the napkin at the top and then pull away from it to trim up all the pieces and to, to get it looking clean like this one down here. And so that's going to dry. Once it's dry, this one down here already has a coat of varnish. I'm going to go ahead and put a second card of, uh, coat of varnish on this piece. Um, just to give it more protection. And I might go ahead and glaze it up and kind of antique it and make it look a little bit more rustic than that. 